द महाजनपादास सिक्स हंड्रेड बी सी ई टू थ्री हंड्रेड बी सी ई जनपादास एंड महाजनपादास द आर्यन ट्राइब्स बिगैन टू सेटल डाउन एंड कल्टिवेट लैंड इन द लेटर वेदिक पीरियड सरप्लस प्रोडक्शन लेड टू इंक्रीज प्रोस्पेरिटी एंड द डिजायर टू एक्सपैंड फर्दर दिस रिजल्टेड इन वॉर्स एंड कॉन्क्वेस्ट ग्रेजुअली large states known as janapadas came into being the more powerful janapadas were called mahajanapadas the four powerful kingdoms the buddhist jain and vedic literature of 6th century bce mentions 16 janapadas most of these were situated north of the vindhyas out of these arose four powerful kingdoms which were Vatsa, Avanti, Kosala, and Magad. Of all the kingdoms, Magad became the most powerful. Rajgir was originally its capital, but later Pataliputra became its capital. Rise of Magad. There were many reasons that led to the rise of Magad. Magad had very ambitious and efficient rulers. The first important king was Bimbisara. He ruled for 52 years and expanded his territories through conquests and matrimonial alliances. Bimbisara's son Ajat Shatru ruled for almost 32 years. He conquered neighboring states and made Magadh the most prosperous kingdom in northern India. Magadh benefited from its fertile soil. Rivers like Ganga and Son provided water for its daily needs and was also used for trade and transport. Magadh had a well-organized army. There were forests that provided timber and elephants for the army. Another advantage was the iron and copper deposits in the kingdom, which were used to make iron tools for agriculture and weapons for war. towns also grew during this time which promoted trade there was an excellent system of roads which were connected to river ports and centers of trade magadh had a good administrative system and the right to collect taxes made the king powerful and rich coins issued by the rulers of magadh show that the kingdom was economically prosperous the nandas Mahapadma Nanda a king of the Nanda dynasty seized the throne of Magadh by 4th century BCE he transformed Magadh into a mighty empire Dhana Nanda the last Nanda ruler was overthrown by Chandragupta Maurya Alexander Alexander the king of Macedonia was one of the greatest kings in the history of the world He conquered vast territories that included Asia Minor, Syria, Egypt, Mesopotamia, and the Persian Empire, which extended up to the Indus Valley. Alexander's invasion. Alexander invaded India in 326 BCE at a time when northwestern India was divided into a number of warring kingdoms. However, Alexander had no difficulty in bringing them under his control. Alexander and Porus. Porus was the ruler of Porava, the area lying between the rivers Jhelum and Chenab. When Alexander invaded Porava, he was met with stiff resistance from Porus. Porus fought heroically but was defeated. Porus was captured. and brought before alexander alexander asked him how he would like to be treated porus replied as one king should treat another king impressed with his reply alexander set porus free and returned all his territories they became friends alexander's retreat alexander proceeded to conquer till he reached river bias His war-weary army refused to advance any further. They were not willing to face the powerful army of Magadh, which lay beyond the river. So Alexander had to retreat. He died at the age of 33 in Babylon 
in 323 BCE on his way back to Macedonia. Effects of Alexander's Invasion Alexander's invasion established a direct link between India and Europe. This eventually led to the establishment of four different trade routes. The cultural contact with the Greeks led to the growth of the Indo-Greek school of art known as the Gandhar school of art. Alexander's campaigns shattered the power of the small states of northwest India. This paved the way for the future political unification of India under the Mauryas.